Guys, if you think that the title of this video was pure clickbait, you have to reconsider because it wasn't. If you continue watching this video, I can promise you that you will change your musical life if you haven't done already so by just accepting that the WBMP was a historical fact was some practice or a principle that people used back in the days. One of the main sources will remain the Melzel Canon and the explanation that Anton Schindler gave to that. It's the Eighth Symphony uh, slow movement where Beethoven made a joke on the metronome and actually Schindler explains that. That's a source. I've been covering that a few times. We'll put a link in the description box and at the end of this video. I have another source for you. We are now 1878, Evangelischen Choralbuch. By the way, this source has been given to us, shared by us by a young musicology, master musicologist and composer, Khaled Dabusi. Khaled is working with us uh, like uh, for a few years now. Here in this Evangelischen Choralbuch, you will find a very interesting passage. Let's scroll down and I will show it. It's in the preface, it's in German, but no worries, I will translate that, but I'm showing you the original. So in German the text reads Die normale Bewegungsschnelligkeit dürfte sein and he's talking about choral melodies where you have the chorals in the very old-fashioned way in half notes like 2-2 two, two, um, uh, time signature maybe I can show you so very normal structure like half notes choral melodies so he says Die normale Bewegungsschnelligkeit dürfte sein Auf jede einfache Choralnote zwei Schläge von Melzes Metronom, welches auf 60 gestellt ist. So, when I take a metronome, in English it would say, auf jede einfache Choralnote zwei Schläge von Melzes Metronom, which means um, every choral note get two ticks von Melzes Metronom. One, two, one, two. When the machine is on 60, that means that at each choral note gets two seconds and so apparently that was sung very slow two seconds per half note we have other sources by the way that speaks about the durations of two seconds per half note choral note okay but then he continues by dry tiling and melodien the halbe note equals 50 mm 60 for two two time signature 50 for three two two ticks per half note and here he says the half note of 3-2 gets mm equals 50 well that is a metronome mark do you understand the implication of that and by the way i forgot to share my screen here it is the source the halbe note equals 50 mm had the author not mentioned the halbe note equal 50 mm, then this source would have been meaningless for any tempo uh, research. It could have been single beat, it, could, and it would be nothing. It's just like the frequency that he gives two ticks per half note. But he did give a metronome mark. So the half note equals 50 mm. Half note equals 50. It's a metronome mark. mm is Melzel's metronome. And in this case, two ticks per half note. Well, I don't know. For, I don't know with you, but to me, that's a pretty clear indicator of whole beat. Am I claiming that this is the source and this debunks everything from single? No, but this is, of course, in this puzzle, in this image we are trying to reconstruct, is very, very, very powerful. It's a direct line to the 19th century. It has some other implications, but that's for another time. Just enjoy this. Lean back and say, hmm, great whole beat source. Be confident, be confident in this because there is no other solution. Even if we hadn't any, anything to back us up theoretically. What are you going to do? There's a piano. Well, not literally here. Sit down and play. And when you then listen to people's explanation why it's not working, you have to see through the explanation and see the deflection. The answer should be related to the metronome mark. Can you play it? Yes, no. When you click on no, <laughs> you go to the other solution. That's it. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this. You must enjoy this as an important source. You get it for free. And if you feel like a little bit embarrassed that you get this for free, 
check out our Patreon page. You can support the work that we do. And a little bit kidding, but it's important. We have a strong community there. They support the work that we are doing. And if you support us there as well, you become part of an awesome community. They even, if I'm not mistaken, have a Discord channel there where you can post your recordings. And so this community comes together there and is interacting with each other. How cool is that? And when you do that, you not only get these cool people of that community that you can talk to, but you can also talk to me, which is maybe not so cool. I don't know, but you support the work and once a month you will see me in a hangout and we can talk about anything that's on your mind. Thanks for watching. See you soon again.